welcome friends once again to another featured product review. My name is Nick and on today's video, we have a premium 2-in-1 touchscreen Windows notebook from iProda. This is the iProda 11.6 inches 360 degrees notebook. This notebook comes with 4GB of DDR4 RAM and 64GB of storage running on an Intel N4100 CPU on Android 10 operating system. This notebook also comes with an expandable storage compartment which facilitates up to a 512GB M.2 SSD. So in this video, we take a look at its design and connecting peripherals, we take a look at its Windows 10 operating system to see if it can be updated to Windows 11, I'll run some benchmarks to test its performance, and using its expandable storage facility, I'll attempt to install alternative operating systems such as Android x86 and FinOS, and we'll see just how versatile this notebook really is. So stay tuned, that's up next. This notebook runs on an Intel Celeron Gemini Lake N4100 quad-core CPU with a base clock speed of 1.1 GHz and a boost clock speed of 2.4 GHz. It has 4 GB of DDR4 RAM and 64 GB of SSD storage. It has dual band 2.4 plus 5 GHz Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.2. It has a 3500 mAh rechargeable battery with usage up to 8 hours. And it has one camera which is a front facing 2 megapixel camera for chatting on social media. And welcome back. In this package, you get the iProda notebook itself. You get a 12 volts 3 amps power adapter and a power cable. And you have a quick start guide. The design of this notebook consists of a 1920x1080p 10-point touchscreen ISP display measuring 10.1 inches wide by 5 and 3 quarter inches tall by 11.6 inches diagonally. The bezels to the top and sides are quarter inch thick and the bezel to the bottom is 1 inches thick. To the bottom right corner, you have a front facing 2 megapixel camera. It has a full priority keyboard with second function keys to control its volume. It has a play pause button for media players and buttons for brightness control. For mouse navigation, it has a four and a quarter inches touchpad with built-in left and right mouse click buttons. To its right, it has one USB Type-C charging port that's also a display port, a micro HDMI Type-D display port, a micro USB port, a micro SD card port and a right internal speaker. To its left, it has a headphone jack, volume control buttons, a power button, a built-in microphone and the left internal speaker. To the rear of the notebook, you have a pair of hinges that facilitates the 360 degrees flipping feature that allows you to apply it as a tablet or it can be used as a kickstand. And below the notebook, you have four anti skid rubber pads and a screw to access the M.2 2242 SSD compartment. So I'll start this up and let's have a look at its Windows operating system. So I've already completed the Windows first startup wizard, connected to my home Wi-Fi network and logged in to my Microsoft account. And if we take a look at its basic system information, it shows here that its processor is an Intel Celeron N4100 with a base clock speed of 1.1 GHz. It has 4 GB of RAM and it's a 64-bit operating system. Below here indicates that the operating system is activated and they provide options for you to change your product keys. For a bit more in-depth information, here's the Ada 64 Extreme application. And I've also connected the notebook to my capture card so that you can get a better view of what's on the screen. Here it shows the same CPU information and it's clocked at 2.3 GHz which is supposed to be its boost clock speed. It shows limited RAM information but it's 4 GB. And it shows that the GPU is the Intel UHD Graphics 600. It has two audio adapters, one from Intel and the other is the Realtek ALC256. On the storage, it shows the remainder from the 64GB internal SSD. On the network, it shows that you have dual Wi-Fi adapters and this adapter is the Realtek 8821CE. And below here, you have your BIOS information. 
So here I've determined with the use of the Windows 11 PC health check tool that this notebook meets the requirement to upgrade to Windows 11. So I'll complete the upgrade and continue. So this notebook has been successfully upgraded and it was done using the new Windows 11 process whereby you have to create an update flash drive or CD. I did this using a Type-C hub connected to the notebook. So now that Windows 11 is installed, let's take a look at some of the basic things you can do with this notebook. First and foremost, you can apply Microsoft Office 365 applications such as Microsoft Word and Excel without issues. This makes this notebook ideal for college students and students under the online learning classroom system. With the front-facing 2 megapixel camera, you can engage in social media meetings such as Zoom, Facebook, WhatsApp, Skype, YouTube live streaming, and so on. When you flip the keyboard 360 degrees, turning it into a Windows tablet, the keyboard and touchpad deactivates, and there is a virtual keyboard that appears on the taskbar for entering text along with touchscreen controls. This notebook also features 360 degrees auto screen orientation. You can watch YouTube videos in 4K 2160p resolution, but you don't get HDR. The same applies to extended displays. Also, this notebook's audio adapter does not support Dolby or DTS audio. You can install your favorite antivirus software protection to protect this notebook against viruses and malware. You can play 4K videos with HDR decoding via the VLC player without issues. You can connect your gamepad via Bluetooth and enjoy some light Windows gaming. Where did that guy come from? You gotta watch out, man. Now that you have gotten a glimpse at some of the things you can do on this notebook, let's now take a look at its benchmarks and where it places on my PC rankings chart. Its DDR4 RAM has a copy speed of 8023 megabytes per second. Its internal SSD has a read speed of 225 megabytes per second and a write speed of 165. In its Wi-Fi speed test, on my network of 250 megabits per second, the 5 GHz band achieved 100% of my network speed and the 2.4 GHz band achieved 40%. In the PC Mark 10 benchmark, it scored 1494. This is the score that I use as reference on my rankings chart and we'll see where it places in a moment. In the new Windows version of the Antutu benchmark, it scored 131,638. In the Geekbench 5 CPU benchmark, the Intel N4100 CPU scored 396 single-core and 1299 multi-core. In the 3 Mark GPU graphics benchmark, it scored 11,634 in the iStorm Extreme test and 2,474 in the CloudGate test. And that's the last of the benchmarks. So I've updated the scores on my PC rankings chart and the iProda touchscreen notebook is at position 7 in reference to PC Mark 10 benchmark score. You can view this chart on my blog in a full spreadsheet format where you can compare various benchmark scores. See the link in the description below this video. So to close off this video, as promised, I installed a 128GB M.2 SATA SSD into the expandable storage compartment and attempted to install all alternative operating systems, the first one being Android x86. To learn how to install Android x86, there is a tutorial in the description below this video. The installation process went smoothly. The BIOS configuration is easier than most and the operating system integrated fully into this notebook's hardware. 
This is the Blissroom Android 9x86 and with this OS you get the full version of the Google Play Store, not the emulated version. You get 64-bit ABIs with a clock speed of 2.4 GHz and the OS is rooted. With this notebook, you get touchscreen function on Android x86, which is a much welcomed feature. You get 1080p resolution on the notebook's display and on any display connected via its Type-C port. You get audio directly on the notebook's built-in speakers when not connected to HDMI. When connected via HDMI, you don't get audio. However, when connected via HDMI, you get audio via Bluetooth. You can also get Bluetooth audio without being connected to HDMI. Tell me something. What do you know about Wakanda? It's a third world country. Textiles, shepherds, cool outfits, all the front. Explorers have searched for it. They called it El Dorado. They've looked for it in South America. But it was in Africa the whole time. You can also play Android games using touchscreen functions as well as wired or wireless gamepads. So compared to mini PCs, Android x86 works much better when applied to a notebook such as this one with touchscreen functions. And finally, I installed the FIDOS alternative operating system. The current version is 14.0 and they keep improving on their firmware. However, after many attempts, I still can't get root access on the latest version, so I'm still using version 12. With version 12, you get a Chrome OS with the Android 9 subsystem. On the Chromium browser, you get a Netflix in full HD quality. For display, on the notebook, you get 1080p resolution. And on my 4K TV that I'm using as my extended display, I'm getting 4K 2160p at 30Hz maximum. For audio options, you have the ability to switch between the notebook and the extended display. You get YouTube in 4K 2160p resolution. You can root the Android subsystem using the tutorial with the link I place in the description. 4K videos don't play very well, but HD 1080p videos play just fine. You can connect your Bluetooth gamepad or your wireless air mouse and use them to navigate the box without issues, as well as you can use the notebook's keyboard and touchpad. So viewers, I've come to the end of this review. With this notebook, you have lots of options for work and entertainment and it's easy enough for anyone to use. It has advanced features such as 360 degrees folding, turning it into a Windows tablet and it gives you the option to install alternative operating systems using its M.2 SATA expandable storage feature. So if you'd like to get your hands on this notebook, you can get it at an affordable price using the link in the description below this video. And just a disclaimer, the link in the description is an affiliate link and using it to purchase provides monetary support to this channel and provides the means for me to acquire new products for review. So thanks in advance for your support. Give this video the thumbs up if the information about this product was of value. If you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell before leaving to keep in the loop as to when I release new videos or decide to do a giveaway. Stay tuned and I'll be seeing you in the next one.